Today we show you how to create an audio guide tour. On the navicup.com website, click on create a new map and fill in the required fields. Select audio guide and select themes that most describes your map. You can add a map image and description later. Let's start creating a map. An email has now been sent to our inbox with a link to log into the administration environment. We log into the administrative environment via the link in the letter, enter a new password for the newly created user. Let's start with creating a tour itinerary. Waypoints and objects can be added by searching or by clicking in the right place on the map. We add a stopover to the route we create and do the same for the other waypoints. We have five stopovers and now we are generating the exact route. We can create route for pedestrians, cyclists, and cars. If we leave the track points into objects checked, then our stopovers will be added on the map as objects. In our old town example we want to create a walking tour. Let's name the route. We can set the line color, thickness, transparency, and description. The next thing we do is add descriptions and pictures of the objects. If we have more than one image per object, we can add them to the gallery. Our map now has an itinerary to follow and objects to visit. In addition to showing objects, the guide should also introduce the area and its history. We add some exciting stories and legends to the journey between the objects. We add a new point and set this point type as area info. We will also add another story. The yellow circle size show the area the visitors are passing through in order to play the whole story. Circle size is calculated automatically depending on the text length and mode of transport. Information areas must not overlap. We also add our own markers to all objects so that they are more recognizable on the map. When the user reaches an object or the information area with his phone, the location is detected by the GPS signal and the audio guide will automatically read out the text you have entered. In the administrative interface, it is possible to check how the audio guide reads the text. This is the most famous tale of Old Town mythology. On a cold winter's night in medieval Tallinn, a strange cloaked figure knocked on the door of Radiskiva 16 and hired the top floor room for a thunderous party. We are now ready to add new languages. Select Add New Language. If you are asked if you want to add the language with the translation, be sure to select Yes with translations. Let's add one more language. If you want, you can add dozens of new languages and translations just as easily. Going back to the map management interface, we can immediately check the quality of the translation and text-to-speech. Dies ist die berühmteste Geschichte der Mythologie der Altstadt. In einer kalten Winternacht im mittelalterlichen Tallinn klopfte eine seltsame getarnte Gestalt an die Tür von Ratas Evo 16 und mietete den Raum im obersten Stockwerk für eine donnernde Party. To illustrate the guide story, we can also upload sound files here. Sounds of the past, sounds of nature, speeches, songs, etc. Let's publish the map now. We click the publish button in the upper left corner, and we will see a checklist to see if our map is ready to be published. It looks like we haven't entered a description for the map. It is very important that users know what they can find on your map before opening it. Our map is now ready for publication. 
If you wish, we can also test it in advance. The map under testing can only be searched through the search field on the front page of the app. When we press the publish button, our map is reviewed by Navicup, give advice if necessary and publish our map. Creating a guide tour is really that simple and ingenious. Be sure to also watch videos of creating a map with the Navicup app, distributing and advertising the created map, and other possibilities. By the way, all texts in this video were translated with automatic translation and was read by a robot.